Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna tell you how to write correctly your perfume formula. So you are at home and you want to make your fragrance at home. What you gonna need? You gonna need raw materials. I have more than 100 here, but you can start from you need 30 to start making your experiments, for example, and to have a nice result. So you can have raw materials like essential oils, and you can have also raw materials from synthetic origin or like they call them aroma chemicals. In the beginning, I was very uh, enthusiastic to make fragrances only with essential oils or natural perf perfumery. But then uh, I discovered that unfortunately this is not enough. You need something more to make them last longer or just simply to make uh, them more radiant or just to make them um, to smell like a real perfume. Because when you're gonna start experimenting, you're gonna see if you use only essential oils, you have three big problems. They don't blend nicely between each other together and there is always a gap between those ingredients. For example, you put essential oil of rose, you put essential oil of patchouli and you put essential oil of lavender. At the end, when you smell them, you're gonna see, mm, I smell all three ingredients together, but there is big gap between them and this is very important for us to know in perfumery and uh, there is not a lot of information nobody's gonna tell you this I'm gonna tell you today the secret if you want to make perfumery perfumes that smells professionally yeah, like one that you go in the department store and you buy you need to know this thing so first let's begin with the Pyramid. So you know, olfactory pyramid, there is a top note, middle note, bottom note. But there are also three other elements very important inside that without them you cannot create a professional three-dimensional parfum. What are those ingredients? First, they are modifiers, they are blenders and fixative. So in total we have six elements. We have Top notes, middle notes, bottom notes, fixatives, blenders and modifiers. What are those three uh, modifiers, blenders and fixatives? Well, I'm going to explain you quickly just to have an idea. So, modifiers are ingredients with a high olfactory uh, smell that when you put them, they give you another dimension to your fragrance without totally changing the heart of your perfume. For example, rose essential oil can be a natural modifier. So when you put a little bit of rose, so here, recommendation, 3 to 5 drops or around 100 gra 0 0.100 grams of the each modifier. For example, you want to make a perfume that smells like modern green rose, you prepare your heart of roses and you put something that smells modern in green. This can be any essential oil you put on the top of your heart, 0 0.100 grams, and you put something, for example, that is another modifier, depends how you want to be, on the top of your heart. What is blender? Blender, on contrary, is an ingredient that has a low smell impact but blends all the three knots together. It blends perfectly the top, the bottom and the heart together without leaving any gaps between. So a blender can be, uh, for example, something like, um, let me see here, Phenoxanol, it's a synthetic ingredient that blends perfectly well. Another natural blender 
can be also uh, patchouli, blends very well, wood and flowers. So no worries, I'm gonna give you the list in the description box about blenders, modifiers and fixative. Fixatives are ingredients with very heavy molecules that they give longevity to your parfum. Natural fixative, it's benzoin oil, I'm gonna show you here where I put it. It's a very key benzoin oil. So it's a very heavy ingredient. I'm gonna open it just to show you how thick it is, you see? You see how thick it is as ingredient, it's not that liquid. So because it's a heavy molecule, it blends all the knots and make them stick. So it gives a lot of longevity to your fragrance. I'm gonna also give the list of the fixatives in the description of this video. So yes, you need all these six elements in your fragrance to make it three-dimensional with a lot of uh, diffusion and radiance and also sillage and to last longer like a professional performance. Other way, it's gonna just be aromatherapy uh, juice, nothing more, unfortunately. So this is the things that you need to know in order to make professional parfums at home. Then, what do you need also? You're gonna need a designated notebook to write your formula. And this is very important. So this one I created myself because before I was using this kind of notebooks. They're not very useful. This one has all the tabs that you need. Raw ingredients, dilution, drops, grams, percentage, comment. So you're gonna write your formula like a professional perfumer inside. Then you need bottles like this one. You need labels like this one that you're gonna put on the bottle, you're gonna write the name, you're gonna put the date. It's very important to put the date in every single bottle because there is a maceration period of your parfum juice minimum of 15 days. So you, have, you need to know when you created this. When you have everything ready, you can start making your fragrances. So you're gonna also need this kind of tool that you can measure correctly in grams with precision your ingredients. I use this, I put it and I start experimenting. For example, I'm gonna make today a fragrance that is rose but modern rose. I'm gonna start from the heart of my parfum. So, the heart is the rose, have to smell like rose. I'm going to use two different essential oils of rose, they're very, very expensive. So, I don't want to waste them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dilute all the ingredients up to 10%. For example, I have essential oil of rose. I'm going to take another bottle, like this one. I'm going to put here nine grams of, uh, sorry, one gram of essential oil and nine grams of alcohol, total 10 grams. So this is your 10% solution. Then I'm going to start writing my formulas. <coughs> sorry. First, rose essential oil dilution 10% grams. Grams. I measure the grams here and I put 0 0.500 grams. Then next material, next material, next material. So, if you want to be professional, all the big professional perfumers, they make the formula in kilograms. For example, they make everything, at the end they put total, the weight must be one kilogram. But we don't have enough money to waste like the big perfumers. So we're gonna make our first experiments of our formula in 
grams. I recommend to use 10 grams. So in the total, when you calculate how much of grams you put in every single ingredient, you have to be 10 grams. So make sure that you make it 10 grams. So this is not mandatory. You can make it 2 grams, you can make it 5 grams, but then one day if you decide to make it this commercialized, you're gonna go to your manufacturer, you're gonna give the formula, you're gonna say, okay, if you have the right formula, then it's much more easy to produce in big quantities. That's why this is completely super important. So this one is available on Amazon. In every single country, you wanna put the description in the description of the link. So if you think you need it, it's very helpful, you can buy it on Amazon. Then, you wrote your formula here, you put your top notes, you put your fixatives, you put your blenders, and everything smells amazing. So no worries again, I'm going to give you the list of all uh, fixative blenders and uh, modifiers that you can use. They're going to help you to make your fragrance 3D dimensional and to smell amazing, to last longer, in the description box. So some of the perfumers use also um, water. I'm not using water because I don't like to put water in the perfume, but it doesn't matter. So when your juice is ready here, you put it in a bottle, you pour it inside, and you leave it for maceration for 15 days minimum. Meantime, you can use the blotter, you open, you smell, mm. it needs more rose, it needs more wood. So you can always correct your formula and add more and leave it for maceration. So then, when you think it's done, you want to make it and pour it into a bottle of, like this one for example, and you want to make it in the format of perfume. Perfume, it's you have between 20 and 30 percent of juice and the rest is alcohol. So, one very big mistake that everybody is doing in the beginning, me included, it's not correctly to calculate how much additional alcohol you have to add to the juice to make it perfume. For example, if you have already diluted inside ingredients you have to calculate and take out all the alcohol that is inside of the juice and then add the calculated right amount of additional alcohol that you need to add to make it 30 percent example we have one percent of juice inside how much alcohol i have to add to make it 20% so I have to add 4 grams of alcohol to the top of 1 gram of juice total is going to be 5 grams which you have 25% of um, concentration of parfum inside I think it's I hope it's clear for you alright uh, let me know if it's complicated in the comments <laughs> and then that's it you have your fragrance you test it you have the right formulation here in grams for example you have documented you can always change your formula when you, if you need it you can write a new formula my recommendation is if you don't like what you have created just keep it another 15 days and smell it again very often when it lasts longer it gets better the all the ingredients mixed much much better inside sorry about looking at <laughs> like this but this camera it's so high so i have to be like this anyway so don't throw out your experiments just leave them to last longer and smell them back again and that's it. So for today, you know how to write correctly your formula 
to what kind of measurements to use and what kind of grants to use and how to write it and where to write it. Thank you so much for staying with me. Uh, I wish you a pleasant week ahead and I want to make a new uh, videos about how to make fragrances at home.